Number five, failing to utilize the best advertising structures and best practices. If you ask a hundred different advertising experts, best advertising practices, you're going to get literally a hundred different answers. There are literally no two advertising experts that agree on everything. Mm -hmm. um, and to be fair, there's a handful that work, but I can tell you after auditing hundreds of Amazon advertising accounts, the mistakes that I've seen, the similar repetitive mistakes that I've seen over and over again are very clear. And so I want to clear those up with a couple um, best practices that I recommend. Okay. Uh, number one, one product per ad group, one ad group per campaign. And this is something that some advertising experts will argue with. That's fine. If you want to do it a different way, you can do it. But what I have seen is when I look at this, if you do multiple products per ad group, all of those products, in some cases, they're different prices. In some cases, they're different variants. They have different colors. In some cases, they're different because they're different prices. The ROI on that advertising is completely different. Your A cost is completely different. This one converts at a 14% A cost. Mm -hmm. this, this converts at a 40% A cost. That's a huge difference. And you don't get to tell Amazon right. which product to show for which term. So what we want to do is we want to take that, that decision out of Amazon's hand and say, if I, I can advertise the same exact keywords for product A as for product B, but at a different bid because it's going to be a different conversion rate. And it's going to do, you know, it's a different profit margin. Um, and so again, you want to have granularity for control. Uh, I will say this, the four key cornerstones to great advertising is scalability, manageability, visibility, and profitability. Okay. So you've got to, you've got to be able to take whatever model you use for one product and scale it to multiple products. It has to be manageable. Mm -hmm. So it's not so overwhelming that it's like, oh my gosh, I don't, you know, I, I, I've got, you know, a thousand campaigns and I can't even see which ones are which and to, you know, optimize them takes hours every week. Um, you have to be able to have visibility into where your sales are coming from. And you have to be able to know what levers do I need to pull to be profitable, right? That's it. So those are the four pillars or cornerstones of advertising. Now, one product per ad group I've sort of laid out. One ad group per campaign is also for a very similar reason. If you have multiple ad groups per campaign, you mm -hmm. cannot tell Amazon, show this ad group more and this ad group right. less. You can't control which the, the budget allocation, whichever one gains traction initially is the one that will gain momentum and eat up most of the budget. So to give you an example, I was I was coaching a client, a, a global brand or a national brand. I won't, I won't mention the name. They were using an advertising agency, a, a very reputable one. And they had 20 ad groups in one campaign. And they basically had a campaign for a type of keyword. And then they had an ad group for each of the different products. And what we discovered was the ad group at the bottom with literally mm -hmm. zero impressions in the last 30 days had not been shown one time was the ad group for their most profitable product. So the one that had the greatest profit margin was not being right. advertised at all because the ad group at the top that was eating up all the budget was just, you know, getting all the sales uh, dollars. So being able to separate that so that we take that decision out of Amazon's hand. Um, so that's the first point. Hey, it's Ria Mittal here. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe to Seller App's main YouTube channel where we upload all things Amazon and some how-to guides that will make sure that you're running on Amazon. You will not get this anywhere else. Until the next time, happy selling.